Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Elix. Uh, so, yeah, I haven't uh, played for a while. Uh, so I'm not entirely familiar with what we're doing. We had uh, we recorded three videos the other day, um, and then we didn't record one for uh, Friday uh, because I had to work, unfortunately, guys. Um, yeah, I, too, had to work. Yeah, we both had to work. Um, I, I was covering a coworker shift, so it wasn't exactly like an expected shift. Um, he, uh, had, like, a family thing, and he was the same guy who covered, or, or switched shifts with me on Halloween, so I kind of felt obligated to cover the shift for him. Uh, so, yeah, weren't able to record, and we've just been having an awesome time of it today, yeah, haven't yeah. we? <laughs> the plague has consumed both children. Oh, yeah, so both kids got the cold now. Uh, our son, he's had it since school started, so <laughs> <laughs> he can't get Nothing over it. Nothing new for him. Nothing new for him, but our daughter has it now, too. Uh, and then, on top of that, our son just threw up all over the fucking yeah, place like we right sat down, before. Yeah, we we're about to click record, and mommy! <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was like, oh god, what happened? Yep, our son had thrown up all over the place, so that we got to clean that up. I so. just love when you have a kid supervising you do it. Like, our daughter's watching me gag as I clean it up, and she's like, is it gross? I'm like, no, I just love the smell. <laughs> <laughs> it smells delicious. <laughs> uh yep so so yeah at, at least we hadn't started recording yet i guess yeah, if you want to think I mean, about the positives right um but yeah oh, let's okay continuing on <laughs> yeah let's go in and get started guys um so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to the scrap baron and get our reward for uh doing that quest for him i'm pretty sure we did the quest for him uh so let's talk to mad bob about these favors you want i've completed that delivery for you just in time. I just heard his brother is back. I hope he enjoys the surprise you left him. What was in the casket I left? Spade and his brother. They were always inseparable. It would be a crime not to bring them back together. What was that? That was the surprise. I bet Spade just jumped for joy. There was a bomb in that casket? You did good work. You're in danger of making me trust you. Pay me. I always pay. Take this. And I don't forget favors, either. You're free to use Ace and Spade's shacks as your own. Move in whenever you want. Whoa, listen. Bob sometimes... Well, he can sometimes... Are you going to speak clearly, Ray? Yeah, yeah. No, forget it. Teach me. It will be... All right, I just wanted to check to see if there's anything we need to learn here, but... Yeah, so that ended up being a bomb. We can get the animal trophies. Nice. That means we'll get items every time we kill anything here. Uh, so, yeah, it was a bomb. Jinx and I expected it. Apparently, Jax yeah. was extremely surprised, though. Um, but, yeah, he blew him up. Blew his brother up, actually. Yeah. Uh, and that's why we were able to take anything we wanted from the shack, because he gives us the shack um, after we blow up the brother. Didn't we blow up the shack, though? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I would think so, but it wasn't that kind of bomb. It was just one of those bombs that I didn't mean to do that. I uh, wanted so to see... we're just going to have to clean the brother up before we can move in? Yeah, we're going to have to sweep up his brain matter. Is there a cleaning service around here? I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. Outlaws I mean, don't really seem like, like they value really yeah, cleanliness here. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we could go back to the shack and check it out and see if it's bloody and gory, but I'm gonna take a wild you guess. Uh, wait a minute. You murdered my brother! You killed Spade! You killed your own brother by taking that bet with the Scrap Baron. You wanna put that on me? Listen, you were told you shouldn't play him. You were told you couldn't win. Even if I lost a thousand games, he wouldn't have had the right to kill my brother. Well, you took blood as payment. So, so will I. A life for a life. Right here, right now. Do you want to end up dead too? So, my life matters and his doesn't? You think I should just take this? No. You killed my brother. Now I'm going to kill you. You're dead. Oh shit, whoa. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. All right, so we're fighting Ray, or fighting Ace, and, and Ray's not going to help. We already no. know that. They don't help when you're fighting human characters in the city. He's uh, just going to get in your way as well. Yep, he'll just get in our way. 
All right, let's get out of there. All right, so Ray doesn't look like he's going to be too challenging. He really shouldn't have got himself in this. Or Ace, my bad. I keep saying Ray. Uh, he really shouldn't have got... He really shouldn't have got himself in the fight. Yeah, I think Ray probably would have been more pleased if we had given him money or something. What, what I'm kind of concerned with is that there's no bad guy companions. I might have said this before. But all the companions thus far that I've gotten in the game... They have, like, morals and shit. Yeah, they're all, like, good guys and, and whatnot. So... Yeah, that's kind of frustrating. We need a bad bad guy here. Um, so let's let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, I believe we we're supposed to talk to Rat next, aren't we? Um, I think so. Now that we, we've has killed it been Ace. A days? I think it has. I could be wrong. We'll talk to him anyway and see what he says. So, about your plan with Chloe. Hey, hey, be patient. I'm not that fast. Just give me some time with her. I'm only just getting her drunk. All right, never mind. So, yeah, it seems that uh, he's not ready yet. We didn't give enough time. All right, we'll just have to wait a little bit. Uh, we could always go in here and talk to uh, her and see if there's any upgrades that she's got uh, that we can get from her uh, in training. Teach. Just take a look here. Uh, see if there's if we put enough uh, points into anything. No. All right. Uh, we don't have any personality, guys. All right, let's. <laughs> you don't. No, that's he doesn't. Just ridiculous. I, I suppose that's pretty accurate. Yep. Uh, so one of the things that we really need to do is we need to find a crafting trainer. Hey you. Uh, yeah you. Do you have a second? Do we know each other? No, and that's exactly why I want to talk to you. I need someone with independent interests. You're not involved with any of the mob here, are you? So, I'm thinking that you might be the right person. The right person for what? Well, I've got to tell you, I think my days of being stuck in this rat hole might soon be over. I mean, why would anyone want to be here if it wasn't for profit? So, let me ask you, are you interested in earning a few shots? All right, but make it quick. Right, yeah, of course. The thing is... I recently returned from an expedition out into the wastelands. I was looking around in a few ruins for the usual kind of stuff, you know, just the usual. And I came across some knowledge from the old world. And this knowledge, it is so dangerous, it can turn entire regions to desert, or provide them with all the energy they could ever dream of. For real! How does this earn me thousands of shards? Are you kidding? Imagine what people would pay for this power. What was it you wanted to talk to me about? You're gonna want a part of it. And that's good, because I need help with this thing. As you've probably figured out, I've got a lead. But I've not got the thing I need. Uh, we need. I mean, I had it. I had it right in my hand. But then this asshole partner of mine took it. Stuck a gun in my face and took it. Idiot didn't even know what he had in his hand. So, we find him. We find this thing. Is that it? Oh, you don't need to worry about him. I followed his tracks. One well-aimed shot at the back of his head and... Problem taken care of. Only the shot startled some creatures. Damn things popped up out of nowhere and went straight for the body. There was no way I could get to it. So, why haven't you gone back? I was always the brains of the bunch. He was the brawn. Shooting one guy who's sitting still, that's one thing. Shooting a bunch of creatures? Yeah, I'm not a good enough shot for that. But you, you got everything you need to get in there and loot the body. You bring back what you find on him, and I'll get you enough elixir so you're set for life. How much elixir are we talking about? Thousands. Maybe tens of thousands of shots. No joke! I have the connections to make this happen. I'll get this thing for you. Of course. Now we're partners. There is a large cliff north of the fort that forms the natural border to Abessa. You should find his remains there. And near a few nests. But be careful. Those creatures are still gonna be up there. All right, so can't even walk down the road without somebody stopping us uh, to talk and give us a quest. Well, I guess we'll help that guy out. Uh, but yeah, I was saying what we need to do is find a crafting trainer because that's some of the really good uh, things that I believe we've unlocked as well. Um, but unfortunately, 
Um, let's hold up. I'm gonna get some of this first. <laughs> priorities, priorities, dinner. guys. All right, yeah, we're gonna get some dinner first. Uh, but yeah, the the problem is is that one of the um the trainers here is the doc, the crafting trainer. Yeah, I've been having trouble getting him to train me for anything. I don't know if you got to do a really? quest for him. Yeah, he's not even, he doesn't, yeah, he won't train me. So, and this is my other playthrough, guys. So, so I don't know. Um, ah, damn you. <laughs> damn you. All Gross. right, so up here is where the dock is. Um, we're not going to talk to him yet because I think we kind of done enough talking uh, for today. And I kind of want to do some fight. Adventure. Yeah, we need to do an adventure, guys. So what we're going to do here, guys, I don't know how well this is going to work out. Uh, we're gonna continue. Uh, we are going to fast travel back to the forest lands. Okay. And then we're gonna do that. Uh, we'll go back to this small camp, I think. All right. And what we're we're looking to do here is I want um, to get us a new companion. Okay. Uh, there is a uh, a cleric companion that I feel like we should get before we start doing the cleric missions. Because, uh, you know, the, our whole goal here is to join the clerics. Right now, we've just been leveling up, you know, doing these little quests. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's about time to go back to the clerics and start doing some of their missions. Oh, um, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, Jinx. It's like we're going to have to go knocking on doors talking about our lord and savior, Kalan. <laughs> yeah, we'll play along. We'll pretend that we're, uh, that we're buying it, you know, because we don't want them to try attempt to brainwash us. We don't really know what that involves. <laughs> Um, probably watching. Oh, oh shit. Uh, I thought we had killed the guys here. Or maybe they respawned or something. Or maybe they made one just for you. Alright, well, there's a couple of them, because I think there's one over there, too. I could have swore we killed He's these. Right He's a clumsy yeah. rock boy. Uh, who's that? I don't know. Is he a friendly? He doesn't look friendly. Uh, he's a reaver. <laughs> mm. Alright, well, the clumsy rock boy is dead. Now we just gotta fight the reaver. Okay. Oh. Damn, we just got a welcoming committee here, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Everybody wants some of us. Ray's just standing back there. Yeah. Yeah, get him. It reminds me of uh, um, uh, Pulp Fiction, where <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of them's on the other one, and the other guy's just like, yeah. That's oh, it's disgusting. Wrong. I know. I wish it didn't. Go to the missing. Okay, so this is, is going to be our home base now. I thought we had found this in this playthrough. We never came here. No, we didn't. There's a quest here um, where you find all these weapons. Okay, so guys, uh, what this place is here, um, if you guys remember in the beginning uh, when we were walking with Durus mm -hmm. uh, and he asked if we wanted to search the ruins. Oh, are these the ruins? These are the ruins. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, you actually do want to do that. If you're playing the game yourself, I do suggest that you do it. It's really not that difficult. You know, it was let out to be like, it's really hard. But it's not, and does get you some then initial... Why did he say it was so hard? Yeah, I don't know. It does get you some initial, uh, you know, experience. And also, like I said, there's a Goodies. quest here. Yeah, there's a quest here where you find the weapons of the uh, clerics it's five what? weapons yeah we, well we can't use them it's it's to use the quest you can give it to somebody oh gotcha um lots of people want the, the weapons you get to pick who you, you want to give it to uh so i can't think just keep it for yourself i don't i don't know maybe i, I think they're just quest items though honestly oh. um it is super That's dark in weird. here what we should do is get our magnesium torch out make a little bit of light uh do you remember what those are Hey, tools. tools. Here we go. All right, let's uh, equip. All right, awesome. So we can see. All right, we probably should take a nap too today. What do you think, Jinx? I'm always down for a nap. That's all, Jinx. Yeah, Jinx is such a sleeper, I'm guys. For naps. Like we uh, <laughs> we got a movie last night, um, which actually ended up being really good. When I saw that, I was enjoying it. Yeah. So what we got was the. Uh, what is it called? King, King Arthur, Arthur, like, sword of something? Mm, sword of, I don't know. Yeah, I don't something know. the awesome. Yeah, I don't know the exact <laughs> name, guys, but it is really, oh, giant. really good. We saw the, uh, there's a mission report here. Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Ready to go. All right, let's do, oh, oh shit. shit. All right, so, yeah, we are in a fight, guys. And so, luckily, it's a clumsy rot boar. I guess these could be somewhat challenging here in the initial game. Yeah, I mean, I guess starting out if this place was swarming with them. Yeah, but you got you always got you had Duris with you, and you know they can kind of handle them up pretty well. Um, let's check this. Grab this again. I don't know if we're gonna need this. Probably not. You know, we'll just throw it down. We don't need it. Can't do anything with it anyway. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, but yeah, guys, the uh, King Arthur movie, we saw the trailer for it, and we were kind of thinking that it looked really stupid. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it didn't really have much expectations for it, uh, but it ended up being really good. Um, oh, there's another weapon. I think we only need to find one asleep. more. Yep, Jinx fell asleep, so she missed it. I told it. you, man, I can't watch movies. Mm -hmm. I can't. If I sit down, I will go to sleep. I have to keep moving. <laughs> yeah, like a shark. Yeah. <laughs> I constantly need the wind in my hair. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was it was surprisingly good. Like it had a, a good soundtrack. Um, hold on, I think we're gonna we're gonna take a nap real quick. Had a good soundtrack. The action was awesome. Uh, just the way it was put together, like the cuts and just the uh, uh, cinematography for it was just excellent. So it was very surprising because uh, I was not expecting much from this movie. Yeah, I've got to finish it. Yeah, we're, we're actually, we rented it from Redbox, and we're actually going to keep it another night so that hopefully Jinx can watch it tonight. I'll watch it this time. Yeah. Because yeah, it, it is, it's really good, guys. You should consider checking it out. Uh, as far as, like, there's no, when it comes to, like, acting, it's not bad acting. There's no roles where you're just like, oh, yeah. this person did an excellent job. It's not really a movie that requires excellent not, acting. Not really. It's more of a visual type of movie. Uh, visual and sound is it's what you're going to... It's a good time. Yeah. And it's not going to make you think or anything like it's that. It's kind but, of funny in its own way. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Um, so who's in it? Uh, if you're curious, there is um, uh, there. Jax. <laughs> from, from, uh, from Sons of Anarchy. From Sons of Anarchy. Whatever his name is. I don't know his name. Charlie something. Um, something like yeah, that. Yeah, he's in it. And he's basically Jax. Like, he's just redoing that role. <laughs> That's all he's got. <laughs> That's his only character. I don't know. It's apparently he did really well in um, uh, City of Z or something like that. Uh, I guess I haven't heard of that. I can't take the fine cup. Oh. What? Are What's going on here? Up? No, you can't get full up in this game. It just don't let me take the fine cup. Oh, there we somebody go. Somebody super glued it. That's what it was. I don't know. Yeah, we had to you know work at it a little bit. Um, it was it just for to look good? Somebody... No, it was it was a hoax. Somebody's watching me right now. Oh, messing with me. It's like Damn those people them. who glue the money to the sidewalk. Uh huh. See so people try and pick it up. Yeah, they will too. And they're like, what the fuck? I, can you glue like money, money, or is it just like coins? Because who would spend time trying to pick coins up? Well, if they're quarters. Uh, <laughs> If it's like glued to the ground, I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna I hate up on that. those little Christian flyers that are like folded up fifties, and then mm -hmm. you open them, and it's like, oh, Jesus loves you. I'm like, <laughs> well, Jesus fucking loved me to drop me a fifty, not this shit. <laughs> yeah, I need a fifty. <laughs> um, we always need a little bit of extra money here. Uh, but anyways, yeah, the the the, the Jacks guy. We're still looking for one more weapon, guys. So if you're curious, what the hell Law. I'm doing here? Jude Law is in it. All over the place here. <laughs> yep, <laughs> we're all over the place. Yeah, Jude Law is in it. He's the he's the villain. He's pretty much just his Pope character. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Uh, we started watching that too. The what's it called like the bad Pope or something? I don't know. That the old weird the young Pope. Shit. The young Pope. Yeah, we started watching that. We never did get to finish it though before we canceled HBO, unfortunately. Uh, but that's something that we definitely need to... We were going to finish sometime. Because it, it was fucking trippy as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember watching it and I was thinking, man, if we only still smoked weed. Because <laughs> this would be a good movie I for... don't know that I would want to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh god. This is so weird. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Jude Law's in it. Um, and then, what's that guy? The African guy, like Dejan. Oh, Digimon Hussoon. Yeah, yep. Like I never. I love that guy. Yeah, he's in so many movies. Uh, he does such a good, good job in all of them as well. Uh, I think one of the first ones he was in was Gladiator, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but yeah, I love him in every movie. If it's yep. got him in it, I'll give it a chance. Yep. <laughs> I think he has been in a couple of shitty roles though. I yeah, recall he has. there being. A, yeah. But it's not his fault. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of got to lay some blame on people I picking mean, shitty for, roles, yeah. right? Like, some actors are infamous for picking shitty-ass roles. Like Cuba Gooding Jr. Like, yeah, what happened to Cuba Gooding Jr.? You remember when he was, like... Yeah, he, yeah, was, he was, like, he was a cool. top-rank actor and shit? And now he just does, like, uh, you know, low-rate... Yeah, movies. It's like, whatever, man. God damn it. We, we gotta find this last cleric. I remember having issues finding this cleric um, I was wondering in my playthrough as well. We I'm looking for the last cleric. There's one more left. We gotta find one more body. We weapon, or uh, well, we're looking for a body. it could body. be a weapon. It could be a body. Uh, I think out of the ones that we found so far, I believe. Um, oh, wait a minute. There, there he is. is. All right, found him. All right, so I believe that's all of them. Uh, and then I believe the quest will, if we wanted to complete it, 
Uh, we got to go to Goliath. Right in a cigarette, so that's got to fetch a pretty penny. Yeah, yeah. Although, I, yeah, I don't know how um, inflated the cigarette prices are without the taxes of modern society. That's true. Yeah, because that's the majority of what you're paying for a pack of cigarettes. I don't know how anybody can do it anymore. It's so fucking expensive. Yeah, or at is. least here in the U.S. it is. Mm-hmm. All right, so we what we want to do... And we don't even live in one of those areas where it's, like, regulated by taxes, like New York, where it's $3 yeah. a pack. It's yeah, shit. where it's fucking insane. There's a troll over there. He looks like he wants a hug. So, um, you know, I don't really play this this game in front of the kids because obvious reasons. Fucking right, cursing all the goddamn <laughs> what time. The yeah, it's not really an appropriate game. Um, there's a lot of cursing, a lot of bad language, and you know, it's just not the type of game that we'd play in front of the kids. However, uh, I have played it a couple times um, without Ray, uh, where I just kind of run around the environment and just don't do any quests or talk to anybody. Mm-hmm. And and they like doing that, like seeing all the uh, the monsters and stuff. And one time uh, when we were playing, we saw one of those trolls. He's sitting on the ground, and then he scratched his butt. And <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all the kids talked about for like the next twenty minutes is fucking tro- trolls scratching their asses um, without the the cursing, of course. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I, that's that's funny shit. They thought it was hilarious. All right, um, I don't see anything in here. It seems like an area where you should be able to find some loot or something I know, underneath like the, the little bridge. Treasure box. All right, so what we're looking for is that uh, we went there once before. It's one of those alb converters. Okay. Um, it's like that big thing. Uh, we know what that is. we had well, we had a, a cutscene there, and then we died almost instantaneously. They started shooting at us. The albs. Oh, yeah, okay. That's what I'm looking for. I have no idea where that is. Um, maybe it's that, I think. I think that's... Okay, there's the converter. So that's where we want to go. Um, let's go ahead. I mean, we could fast travel there, but it's pretty close anyway. Let's just mark it it's on the dangerous. map. dangerous. All right, so it's this way. Uh, so that's where the cleric is. The cleric is there. Um, I found him while roaming around um, Edan. Uh, and he's kind of annoying... Um, he's not really our favorite companion character, but as we saw, we had difficulties in the cleric lands because none of our, none of our people agree with their fucking shitty ideology. I know, right? Why would you? I thought Ray was Duras for a second. I was like, what happened to Ray? I miss Duras. Duras was like, I miss you, Jax. I miss you. Where is Duras? Ray can never love you like I can. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah, I know. You're supposed to go back to the small camp, right? Well, I don't think we had cleared the small camp, so maybe that's why he wasn't oh, there. Oh, so he's wandering the world for the rest of eternity? I don't... Lost and alone? Sure, that sounds about right. Yeah. Poor Duras. I imagine he would go kind of crazy if you happened upon him now. <laughs> so, here he is... Like Tom Hanks. Yep, Tom Hanks with a big old <laughs> beard. Yeah, instead of a soccer ball, he'll have... Um, a rot boar head or something. I don't know. I was thinking something that reminded him of Jax. A rot boar head or something. <laughs> a rot boar head or something. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Uh, remember this guy? This crazy dude here? He still hasn't moved, has nope, he? Nope, he's not leaving. All right, let's let's um, let's go inside here. Uh, I don't remember where the front is. I think it's over this way. Okay, it's right there. How much time do we have? Um, we have like eight minutes. All right, because this is going to uh, kick up a... Uh, uh, cutscene um, as soon as we come over here. Oh, really? People Unless we already did the cutscene. I thought we did the cutscene and then they started firing at us and I don't, we ran away. Did we run away? Maybe. Yeah, you can see him uh, over we there. We never went back, though. We had to load it because we died. Yeah, so I think there should be a cutscene here. Let's save it, guys. <laughs> um, I think that would be wise. Ray's a bit uncomfortable with the situation. As you can see, I almost got as much playtime in my other playthrough as I do this one. I think we're, we're 16 hours on our current one. In mine, I'm 14 and a half hours in although i'm still like i think i'm like four levels ahead of us right now as far as experience Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, wait, you know what? We don't want to run. I don't know what I'm doing. We want to fight him up close. We can't fight them at range. Like, why did he just walk up there and then as soon as he was seen, try to sleep? I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so yeah, we don't want them uh, using their Fire ranged weapons at us. Yeah. All right, let's drink a little bit of potion here. 
Some big ass hammer. Yeah, yeah. I wish that we could pick up the weapons off their bodies. That'd be nice. I don't like when. I don't like when games don't like uh, you know let you use the items that your enemies clearly have. Oh, so this is part of a quest coming? Yeah. Yep. Yep, this is a quest. All right, let's go and pick all these things up here. There's a quest inside here, actually. The uh, berserkers send you send you over here to do this oh, quest. Oh, okay. Uh, but we aren't working dicks, with the berserkers. And they need to be rid of. Well, they actually already defeated the elves here at the converter. Uh -huh. um, but some have come back. And so they, they actually wanted you to come here for some of the uh, machine parts that they have inside the converter. So that's what they send you here for. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna pick those up, um, and we'll be able to do the mission. Uh, we can just go back to. We need to go back there anyway. I hear craters. Yeah, I think there's some above us. We're gonna be riding an elevator, Jinx. Oh. Jinx gets I really love excited for elevators. Also, um, these clean bots here are essentially like the rats of these places. Yeah, I figured as much. Ah, uh, if I can hit them. Maybe like electronic parts. In this yeah, and they give you a ton of experience. The rats only give you two. You get ten experience for defeating those clean bots. As so, as they are. yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. Looks like we've alerted the uh, monster that's over top of us. I think it's all like rot boars, um, and then there's like a really difficult enemy at the end. Can we take them? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. Mm -hmm. I think oh, we can take rot boars. Um, those oh. mutants. Oh. I think this is where they make the mutants. Okay. Yeah, the uh, the mutants that we see in the world, uh, those are all created, I think, by the Alps. I'm not, I'm not positive. Dicks. Because uh, I'm not that far in the game yet, but I think that's the case. Push the button. Yeah, we're going to push the button, Jinx. All right, let's get our weapon out, because I th think he's as soon as you get off. Yeah, he's right there. He's a threatening oh, rock boar. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess he's not that threatening. Well, we're going to a pretty high level, Jinx. And then there's a slime drake gun as well. These are the machine parts we need for that quest. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the slime guy, he's kind of challenging. Now, these power waves, though, these power waves are extremely... Uh, useful. Uh, we're gonna take a look at them here in our inventory. I don't know where it's at. Throw them as bombs. No, they're magic. Oh. They're one-time use magics that anybody can use. They're you like out. Seen any fucking magic? It's 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 kind of not really that exciting to be honest. All right, we actually already had what? one of these. It's really not, Jinx. I'm sorry. <laughs> you at least let me hold on to my excitement. <laughs> well, I, I didn't want you to be disappointed, Jinx. Instead, I'm pretty disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is there anything else we need here? I guess there's some some money. Two times the disappointment. Oh so no, because you can these have mutants around as decoration. Yeah, yep, they look pretty cool, right? Sure. You wouldn't hang a mutant up from your wall as a decoration? I mean, I guess if I had an extra room for it. <laughs> to show all your trophies off. I want that off. to be my, you know, my main decor. All right, we've got another rock door here. Yeah. Oh, it is. My long ass swing. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, one more rot boy left, and then the the monster guy. Uh, I don't remember where he's at, uh, but I don't know that we can take him. Is he tough? I, don't, I think so. I think it's one of those, you know, the raptor-looking ones, but cooler. The cooler raptor guy. Yeah, you know the ones that, yeah, you know, you know how they the all horny look ones? different. Um, the horny ones. <laughs> yeah, the horny ones that are just running after you, trying to get your booty. Well, that'd be terrifying. It would be. Yep. That's what why Jinx is so terrified of mutants here. Cause mutants are fucking horny. Cutscene. Or loading screen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> are mutants horny? Is it because they don't have any enough ladies? Yeah, because you know ugly things love beautiful things. Sure. Yeah, I guess and that makes sense. Mutants are about as fucking ugly as you can get. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! Waiting for the enemy to commit their troops before you revealed the fighting Colossi. It left the enemy nowhere to go. You've shattered their attack! It was a logical move, and we must remain vigilant. They won't fall for that again. Nevertheless, the victory is yours. The hybrid must recognize that even the Alexiters speak of you as an equal. I carry out the will of the hybrid. I am what the hybrid makes of me. 
The Alexiters select you for roles they could only give if a hybrid had agreed. Elix does not allow for emotion, but you should be careful, Commander Jax. There are those who envy your rise in power. They would do anything to have the favor you've won. You honor our people, but there are those who think of themselves. I serve the hybrid. His will is above all. Someone at the Ice Palace. These cutscenes, memories, they're just so random and weird. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of odd. Oh shit! Uh oh, uh oh, and I'm in a fucking hallway. Like I don't think the voice acting for the owls makes any sense. Like Jax is, you know, he's very albish even when he's not on, you know, Elix. But uh -huh. everyone else seems very like either jovial or you know just like they have emotion. Well, they're the same voice actors that do everything else. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> to do all the other characters, um, and yes, yeah, my thing is why? Ooh, a drone control. That seems kind of cool. Ooh, a drone. My thing is is why? Why the fuck did they not name that Alb Soldier? Like, how hard would it just <laughs> to give him name like Fred or James or or Luke? You know what I mean? Yeah. It would have added so much to the. Uh, to the character and to the cutscene, if like he had a name, he's like somebody. He doesn't even have to be somebody who ever comes back up in the the story or the game. It's like if he was memorable, you know, Jax remembers the guy. He should have a name. Right? Yeah, I know, it, and it's just how difficult. Why is he just got to be Al well, Soldier Jax number sixty-two? Is just shit with names like you. <laughs> <laughs> he's like be. that one Al Soldier that I talked to, but I can't remember his name. <laughs> yeah. Like you guys served together for years. I, I still it just it doesn't come to me. It's so true, guys. I'm so <laughs> shitty with names. It's bad. Damn, how many of these fucking... I think this is the last one. Damn, I cannot do that long... That deep swing. Ray's taking it. Yeah, it's fine. We don't need him. All right, so that's the last rot war, guys. We just had the uh, little kind of boss fight of this Slide area. Again. Yeah, so essentially what happened last time I came through here is... Um, oh, yeah, we're actually at uh, end of time here, aren't we? All right, I guess it's good that we end here um, as well. Uh, because, um, yeah, there's some there's some talking at the end of this this place, so it makes sense. Um, but yeah, what I was saying, what happened last time that I came through here, uh, the we got an item scanner too. Uh, the boss monster who's at the end, you can kind of see his tail oh, there. Okay, I see it. I think I think he couldn't come down the tunnel. Um, so what he ended up doing was he, I guess he ran around the back. That was his attempt to, and somebody else killed him. So, oh, okay. so I didn't have to fight him last time. So I'm hoping it happens that same way nah, he's gonna this come time. Charging straight down that fucking tunnel. Yeah, and then we'll have to force like push him because I'm like a sperm. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna force push him, push him, push him, <laughs> put, yeah, force pussy, <laughs> force pussy upon him. <laughs> Uh, it'll, change his, your side. it'll change his life. <laughs> well, yeah, we're going to do our, our, you know, Jedi force push on him, I think, if, if he gets close to us. Because it does a ton of damage. Um, it's like hitting him three times, equivalent to that. Just trying to get this money here. All right, guys, so, yeah, we're going to end it here. We'll we'll, we'll deal with the, uh, the kind of boss of this place um, at the and then beginning of the next episode. Uh, and then we'll also be meeting our new companion. He's in this location here, guys. Uh, so I hope you're excited to meet him after all the glowing reviews we <laughs> gave of you, uh, gave you of him. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and thanks for watching, guys.